Okay, so we've got a probability question here where there's some uh, conditions put on, so conditional probability. Uh, three different Italian sandwiches, egg, cheese and ham, takes a random two of them. The probability is that she takes two different types of sandwiches. Okay, so if we use our logical approach, we could draw a 2 diagram, but it would have three options, uh, sorry, two options. Um, so if you like tree diagrams, we could have first sandwich, and then we could have second sandwich, three more branches coming through. Could do that. Um, personally, I prefer just to use logic um, for these kind of questions, and then I can think through what the probability of each situation. So two different types. So I either chose egg first, followed by cheese, or I did cheese followed by egg, or I did cheese followed by ham, or I did ham followed by cheese, or I did egg followed by ham, or I did ham followed by egg. So there's those, uh, all those different types of combinations there that would work for this. Um, I could have worked out three the, 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 the three that are the same and taken away from one as well. So I might do that as a check in a minute. So go through each of these. Now, when we want something and something, they're independent of each other. So the probability of the egg will not affect the probability of the cheese. So they're independent. So and always means you end up multiplying the probabilities. So egg first time around. So there's 11 on the first choice. So 4 plus 5 plus 2 is 11, yep. So egg was 4 out of 11, and cheese was 5 out of 10. We've already taken the sandwich out, remember, that's what the condition, taking two sandwiches. So taken one, then taken another. So one less, so really important that. So that's 20 hundred tenths. Um, cheese first time round, followed by egg. Uh, same answer. Cheese followed by ham. So 5 times by 2. And then this will be the same, but ten. Egg four eleventh times ham two tenths, and then ham two eleventh times egg four tenths. And then because all of these count, there that or that or that or that or that or that, we end up adding all the answers. So we end up. Um, adding all of these to get the final answer. So we end up with 20 hundred tenths plus 20 hundred tenths plus 10 hundred tenths plus 10 hundred tenths plus 8 hundred tenths plus 8 hundred tenths. So 20, 20, 40, 50, 60, 68, 76. So 76 out of 110. Of course, we could cancel down and uh, change it into 38 55ths. Okay, so the check. The only ones that don't count for this is if we got an egg and egg. We've got cheese and cheese, and we got a ham and ham. So egg, 4 out of 11, oops, times 3 out of 10, which would be 12 tenths. Cheese and cheese would be five elevenths times four tenths. So again, row we've eaten one of the, or taken one of the sandwiches already, so we're down to ten choices. A choice of ten sandwiches in the second time. So 110. And then we've got ham. So twelve hundred and tenths plus twenty hundred tenths plus two hundred and tenths is equal to 34 hundred and tenths and then we could do one takeaway 34 hundred and tenths which equals 76 hundred and tenths same so either way we end up with the same answer of 76 hundred and tenths or 38 50 fifths is the probability of choosing two different types of sandwiches from this scenario again we're recognizing that it's a conditional probability because two sandwiches taken so once you take a one sandwich, the number of choices is down by one. So it's out of ten the next time around, and that's what you've got to be careful of. Tree diagram could have been a way of doing it as well. You'd have ended up with those six choices at the end of your branches, and you'd have ended up multiplying and then adding those up as well. So that's an example of how to do a probability question.
involved in conditional probability.